<clears throat> hello, hello to the BDN group. Um, I want to show my last result of my experiment. I have here. I will show you. I have here a voltage of my start battery, and here is my start battery. Okay, I have here voltage of my charging battery, and I have my new charging battery which I got from from my friend this battery in the past had troubles to charge it to the 11 and up and then, as you can see I have here 11.34 alright then I want to show you following I do not use I do not use a variable resistor I change it to a standard cable and yeah I don't use now uh, variable resistor so just ima imagine that this connection is just a line to this resistor 100 ohm okay now to the interesting part as I stated earlier my problem was that my wheel didn't spinning didn't, didn't spin but watch again okay you see it now I move my wheel the circuit is on and now I move my wheel all right okay you see you here and clearly see my wheel and how it's spinning so my issue with the spinning is resolved uh, it was resolved after I uh, didn't uh, after I changed my variable resistor to the cable yeah and this was that, that's all it was the, the whole issue and now you can see you see that the wheel is spinning and it's spinning continuously okay and what what about interesting about spinning I can uh, spin I can move it fast I can move it slow and it will be spinning so just I try to spin it a lot faster I stop the wheel I stop the wheel and now I spin very fast as I could uh, as could possible yeah the maximum force of spinning all right that's, that's better now you see how my wheel is spinning okay I have only one light bulb lightened it's a 25 milliampere light bulb and it's lightened so it's good okay so in this circuit I do not use the variable resistor I want to repeat this again I do not use variable resistor in my current circuit And the wheel is spinning and spinning. I done today a lot of experiments, and my uh, wheel always spinning without any problem. So I can probably take this wheel to to maximum. But I use the power of the start battery. You clearly see the voltage of this battery sometimes changing. So I spend energy but I produce energy too because I have increase uh, in the power in the voltage too so I think it's I don't <laughs> I would I wouldn't say this is over unity but it's very very interesting way to convert and use energy which you have I would 
think about testing a lot of batteries with only one start battery in, and how many old batteries I can uh, recover back to this to the or original voltage and just imagine if I can with only one battery recover 10 12 volts or higher batteries then it is all right it's okay it's very great system to recover your battery and to use it very very uh, high efficiency so my uh, my advice for all people who are watching this first time just do it just join a bedini group forget what have you learned about electronics in your school or uh, university just do it like it at the manual and it should be okay mm, most important things about this circuit is coil core which should be a ferret uh, ferret material welding rod so it should be a welding rod with the ferret properties what does it mean what i mean by that the welding rod which you use in coil core of this pool should have magnetic properties uh, watch my previous videos you will understand it what i mean okay secondly i do not uh, i do not show 100 percent but uh, if you have all your circuit set up you can try first of all without variable resistor as i do currently because in my case when i apply to the circuit variable resistor uh, 1k ohm then my wheel is not spinning i don't know i do not i do not why i don't know the reason why it's not spinning when i add to the circuit variable resistor but it's it's a very interesting thing about this um, about this uh, yeah bedini project bedini device mm. Uh, secondly, additional information information about how much time I took to build this all uh, device, uh, circuit and the wheel. Uh, I used work work time about one year, I will say. Not the full, not, not the full-time project, but part-time project, I would say. And most uh, most problems were in my circuit. So if you do it first time and you do not know basic electronics, I would advise you to buy some cheap book about basics electronics so, so that you can understand that what is meaning of resistance, why resistance should be lower, what, what, what means when the resistance is high. You should able to understand this because if you do not understand this basic, you cannot build uh, normal circuit, normal ele elect electric circuit. Mm. So once again, I, I just repeat for you folks, I'm not electric uh, rocket scientist or uh, I do not have a speciality in this kind of uh, stuff. I just build it, build to to show the world that it's possible to build this such a thing without any, uh, yeah rocket scientist knowledge so it should it should be built by everybody who have something to do with uh, I don't know basic electronics and this is in this very efficient system look look from the perspective uh, using such device you can 100% sure to be that each battery which you b bought you will use it many times and probably you will never bought a new battery because you can always recover it back. Possibly, it's possible. Uh, yes. What is the most important thing? Uh, how to build the circuit? Do it your way. I took this way. Some people advise to use soldering. I'm not kind of a fan of soldering, but if you have experience with soldering, you can use soldering. It's not problem. Uh, you can you you can you. I have here the wheel. It's a 24 inch. So you can try with the wheel, which uh, I think can be uh, smaller. And 
most important thing about the wheel and the magnets. Each magnet on the wheel should point to the coil core with north pole. So each magnet should be pointed to the north pole, to the coil. It should point to the always. All, each magnet on my wheel each time points to the coil core with north pole. It's very important. And I advise you to watch the energy from the vacuum series radiance energy, such things like that. And yeah, I would thank uh, John Bedini, Tom Burden for their work. They are truly revolutionary scientists and they are changing our, our, our scientific uh, belief system very strong. And I hope that in the, in the near future we would multiply the building of such devices and this, we will success in transition of these current energetic problems in our world. It can be, it can be, it can be built in each country. It does not depend on the geographic or anything like that. Uh, just do it like it said in manual and you will have your success and join the Bidini Yahoo group. I will advise you. You will learn many interesting people. You will learn uh, some, you will see your mistakes clearly. And yeah, I, uh, <laughs> secondly, I would like to thank uh, Bidini group because it helped me to, to correct some mistakes on my circuit. So it, it looks like simple, the circuit, but if you are building the circuit, you always catch some of the nice, nasty <laughs> problems. But it's normal, it's learning process. It's not. I took one year uh, to build this uh, kind of thing because I didn't have a lot of time, but I currently have it. And I wish you all the best. Let's make the transition happen. Thank you all. Okay. <clears throat> I want to I want to add following the SSG this all kind of free energy yes it is hell it is has only one origin it's a Tesla it's an inheritance from the Tesla and I will sh I will <laughs> I want to and I want to say you following this kind of technology should have been um, produced 100 years before and it's clearly for, for me as a young generation we should able to practical uh, developing the Tesla technology we should take some old patents and build it like it says in patents and and um, learn from Bedini uh, from Tom Burden and uh, improve their knowledge so they will never will come back to this situation which we currently have in our world so that some big companies control our way of life and I sincerely believe in that this is the way which give us the freedom of our energy crisis and we should f proud to be that some people like Bedini and Tom Burden exist. And I would clearly say that Bedini, Tom Burden, Tesla was right, and everybody, uh, the critics, were wrong. That's all for me. Bye.